decision, Tommy the Spaniard Aaron. Thank you so much for being with us, Thank Tommy. You, I, I appreciate you taking the time. Thank My you, pleasure, brother. Man. I uh, I know, I thought the first thing I got to do is get the question that everybody wants to know. Mm -hmm. How do you go in the MMA ring, right, and just beat some guy down and then be like, Jesus loves you, right? Mm -hmm. It's essentially how has God used your career in the ring for kingdom work? I think that's actually a hard question because, you know, every time, I, like, I there's a piece of me that that wants to hurt my opponent, but then there's a piece of me that doesn't want to hurt him, you wow. know? But I have to, in order to win, sometimes I have to hurt him. Focus. And I have to, I have to do the, the job. Um, but at the end of the day, we both signed up for it. And, you know, I love all my opponents. And, and, and I, I tell them, like, afterwards, like, it's all love, you know? Even if, you know, I knock him out, he knocks me out. At the end of the day, you know, we're doing it because we love it. And it's in our hearts. And it's what God... Like, I feel like God gave me this talent, you know? I, I really do. It's, it's amazing a, to me, man. I, it's like things you never put together in the same place. I know from what I've read about you that the, the MMA coaches and MMA in general have had an incredibly positive effect on your life. Absolutely. And how did God, what were the major events that led you up to this? How did God lead you into this? I feel like my losses... I, I, um, there was a time where I didn't think I was going to be able to lose because I was doing so well. You know, I was undefeated. I was, you know, knocking all, out all my opponents. Wow. And then, um, you know, as soon as I, I, I started to kind of get up here, I feel like, you know, God came in and was like, not yet, and made me lose, you know, two times back to back. And then, you know, with, I, I was actually, I was doing, um, I was following a different diet, and I was around people who ha hated God and was a just hardcore atheists. You know, I was around a lot of those people, wow. and um, you know, they they were the ones that I had around me, those people. And you know, I I went into the fight. I broke my leg. I broke my 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 fibula in the first minute. I fought for another four minutes with it broken, Oof. and then afterwards, just you know. Just seeing who like texted me and who was really like, you know, was giving me that genuine feeling, and it was always the people that you know I least expected. You know, like my coach, I, I reunited with my first coach after that that ankle break, and he's the most God fearing man that I know, and he 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 definitely helped me find, you know, not not find because I feel like God's always been with me, but he helped me believe like my, in, in him a little bit more, yeah. you, you know, so. Absolutely. It, do you believe that MMA itself, is this God's calling for your life? Did God divinely call you into this? You know, I don't know yet. I, I, I got to be honest with you. I don't, that's a, I don't know yet. Um, maybe in the next few years, I'll be able to answer that question. But as of right now, I know that he's given me this talent for, for a reason. You know, like, I can't do math at all, so <laughs> it's like... <laughs> but you have an amazing heart, and the influence of a fighter is, like, so strong, so I can think of what comes to me, Holy Spirit-wise, is immediately children, right? Like, if you're a fighter, and you can, but you have a great heart, then, like, kids are going to listen to you, and maybe certain kids would only listen to you mm -hmm. and no one else. What, the environment, I know you train at, like, you know, Black House, the super mm -hmm. gym, the famous gym, the, mm -hmm. is has the rigor and the intensity of that kind of gym training affected your walk with Jesus? Has that been something that God sort of like bridged? 
um, to be useful I, for you? Absolutely. Um, and God, kind of every day, I feel like He shows me like you know how to be, how to act. Um, but I, I feel like He 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 brought me to Black House, and like I'm around all these guys who are super talented, and they 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 push me, you know. The best of the best. The be they are. They're the best of the best. And you know, on top of that, working with my new coach, you know, who who was my original coach, so and good. and and Christian. Yeah, yeah, super Christian. God. Yes, super Christian, <laughs> and you know, and it's, it's, it's definitely Black House. It's, it's, it could be a long-term thing, but the main thing for me is just sticking around the people that are godly people who are God-fearing people. Oh, we all need it so much. Man. Just because as soon as I, I let someone around me who, who isn't that, it, it like little, it's like little things, you know, um, like little influences, right. you know, and because, because we all have that, that, that good guy and that, oh, that, that, that bad, you, he, he, and you're an influencer. He yes. Wants and, uh, the enemy has been attacking me probably more than ever this past couple of years wow. and that's why i need to you know my mom tells me every day like make sure you put on the full armor of god and um because you know when you go out go to black house and you go and you're around you know d d not just people at black house but just you know a yeah. lot a lot of the fighters aren't always the best people either you know so finding the the true fighters like the ones who have that real warrior spirit and who are god fearing and those are the guys I want to be around. Those are the guys I want to compete against. You know, uh, those are the guys. Man, it's amazing. It's just like trying to, when you're outside the world, trying to dive, dive your head into like, I found the most godly dude, and now I'm going to knock your head off. <laughs> like, I'm trying to put it together. But That's I get amazing. it. I understand it like from the perspective of this is right. This is what we both came here to do. We love this. We train mm -hmm. to do this. And what you were describing earlier when we talked, and you were saying the things about how you train to come back from your 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 legs snapped in the ring. You your your what'd you say? You hit my the ground. Fibula, my tibula. Hit your the ground. tibula hit the ground. My fibula went out. So I it was... tore your tendons, like, like everything, everything, right? So all your dreams in an instant are like just gone at that moment, right? Mm -hmm. And so I'm thinking Genesis fifty twenty, right? God uses evil for good. Mm -hmm. Has God brought that moment around for you where there's begun to be like He actually used. I mean, like one thing that comes to mind is you said a guy kicked you in the ring recently, today. and the actual <laughs> today, and the stuff that hit your leg, the kick that hit your leg was the actual rods in your leg mm -hmm. protected you. But has there been any other ways that God has used that moment, this huh. sort of crippling moment, to actually start to transform it for good? kick that hit your leg was the actual rods in your leg mm -hmm. protected you but has there been any other ways that God has used that moment this huh. sort of crippling moment to actually start to transform it for good you know what it's it's funny like every day like I pray every day I pray to God every day and um, I feel like with my ankle I'm, I'm, I'm glad that it broke looking back i'm i'm happy like it, it was such a lesson for me um character it, it it showed me things i needed to work on like my anger like my anger and my ability to forgive um it's taught like if if that didn't happen i don't think i'd be in the same place mentally that i am at now and now i'm in the place mentally and i know now that when i go back to compete I'm going to be a whole different animal because I'm smarter, I'm more mature, and I'm just really more, my faith is higher, you know? So I'm not as, like before, you know, you go into a situation, it's the unknown, right? Right. But now, I, 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 it's like my faith with God is so strong, like no matter what happens, if my, you know, my head explodes, like I know that that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be okay. You know, I'm gonna figure it out. As long as I'm breathing, of course, I'm gonna be okay, and I'm gonna get through it because I know I got him. 
and Amen. he's all I need, really. Amen. Him and my him and my lady and my mom. Well, and you know. the beauty is, I mean, truly, we're all here in an instant, right? We're dust in the wind. Mm -hmm. And the fact is, you have eternity, right? You're going to be looking Jesus in the face, talking to him. Oh, you that's going to be a cool moment. Yeah. yeah. yeah not only are you okay <laughs> now, like, as in who of you by worry can add a moment to his life, but you got, like, forget about it. Mm -hmm. the, the thing I keep wanting to ask you, it's like burning in the back of my mind, is about, I'm hearing a lot about a TV show. And mm -hmm. I don't know what you can say and can't say. But I can't wait for the world to kind of know about this idea because I yeah. really want a new, fresh breath mm. of Christian media where you see Jesus and MMA together, mm -hmm. where you see Jesus and hip hop or Jesus and whatever mm -hmm. it is that just lets people know there's a real world with the real God and Jesus is very real and it's not about religion in the false context. So Absolutely. what can you say about this show? What can you say about what's coming? Well, what's, it's, it's, the show is kind of, it's going to give people more of a real look because I feel like how there isn't a lot of media on it. Like people see, of course, what happens the day, yeah, the big day. Media. You see the, the, the fights and this and that, but you don't see the, the hours and hours in, of dedication and training, the, the, you know, being like not wanting to wake up at this time, but you, you, you know, it's, it's rent for me. Like I, I gotta, I gotta get up, I gotta, and it's not just that, it's, I'm, it's like you got I got a target on my head literally you know so it's making my I need to make my skills the best that they can be and and people kind of see fighters as they think that these guys are barbaric and all these dudes are right. but the real ones the ones who do it most of the time are mama's boys they're very wow. the quiet shy um, and like they'll they'll take the shirt off their back and you know I, I can say that for a lot of my teammates I know it, if if one of my teammates saw me you know my car broken down on the side of the road you know and if they had to if they were in a rush somewhere they would go you know what screw wherever I have to go to right, I'm gonna you. go I'm gonna go and help my boy and um, we're very godly people a lot a lot a lot a lot of these warriors are very, very godly people, and especially the ones who are at the top, because you know you gotta have something extra. You gotta have something extra, man. And and what is that extra for me? That I have realized now after all of these heartbreaks, you know, with my I had two losses in a row, and then I went and I started to get wins back, and then I had the leg break, and I thought that was it, but now I'm. Um, stronger than I've ever been. My ankle is stronger than it's ever been. And my faith is stronger than it's ever been with God. And that's why I'm so confident now. Because first, God brought me back to my coach. And my coach has completely tra transformed my game. So the fact that I have a winning record in pro MMA here in LA, I'm six and four right now. Like thinking about it, I'm like, man, I, I can't even believe that I, I have that many wins with the skills that I, I had. But now with my coach, like he's completely changed my game. So now I'm, I'm so confident that when I get back into the cage and in the ring, I'm gonna go on a long streak of, of wins. Man, so I'm putting together what you said thinking, this TV show is gonna be based around the struggle of what it really takes to do this as a career. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be based around yes. this brotherhood of guys that's holding each other together. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be based around the struggle you never saw and the reality of what it takes to train in the middle of having your leg hanging off because you can only do, you said earlier, pull-ups. Mm -hmm. You can't even do other exercises. You're still fighting with a leg hanging down. You're still fighting to do pull-ups. Is that right, though, as far as the show? That, I mean, is that, that kind that of like... Is, that that's is. That's the kind of stuff we can see. That's the stuff that they're going to see is the real struggles of, you know, the, the cutting weight, the, the having, ha getting fights and then having guys pull out of the fight. And then you're out there, like, I'm left with, like, I have all my, or most of my eggs in this one basket, you know, and it's like, if I don't fight, if I don't win this fight, like, I don't, I can't pay rent for the next two months. So brutal. And, I, and I have my, I have a fiance, I have, I have three older sisters i have three little brothers i have a mom you know uh, i i haven't met my dad yet but i'm 
looking forward to meeting him soon. Again, that's another thing God brought me and my dad back together. Um, uh, so, yeah. It's, did, did God use MMA somehow to bring your dad back into the picture? Did he hear absolutely. about you fighting? Oh, yep. my God. He did hear about me fighting. See, this oh. is how I know. So I just want to say, this is how you know that God's hand is on you in every way. Oh, MMA brought you to a Christian coach, lifted you up, strengthened you in turn. Mm -hmm. It's everywhere. Yeah, and also so my dad is... is like, I, I, I met him in prison when I was five. Wow. And um, then all of a sudden he goes, man, I saw, I saw, he, uh, so my third amateur fight, I, I had a, a fight and I ended the fight in 11 seconds. I, I threw a left head kick, it connected. Um, and he goes, man, like, I, I saw your fight and, you know, keep it up, keep going. And, and at the time I was like, Phew. I didn't even like, I didn't even reply, but you know, after all the things that have happened and stuff and my sisters coming back into my life and um, I'm, I'm probably going to go meet him. Uh, what is it? It's Christmas time. I'll probably meet him right after Christmas. That is beautiful. For the first time. That so, is so good. Since that five. <laughs> God. Yeah. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. Man, that is so good. I'm so, so grateful to God, God for what, what he's doing in your life with MMA, with everything. And I can see, like I said, I have a Holy Spirit call that, that you're going to... Uh, influence kids that couldn't be influenced by anybody but you mm -hmm. as you move in so i'm just saying that on record so that you know when it comes that it was god that said it not me Absolutely. Um, amen before we bounce and leave everybody behind for this particular episode of this what would you want the world to know that i didn't ask you that they need to know hmm that's a good question damn uh -huh. <laughs> that you didn't ask me <laughs> Or what do they need to know about you? You know, what do they need to know about what's coming or what they're going to see or what's coming up next? Um, well, they're going to see me be be uh, champion of the world Come soon. On, I'll tell you that right now. Because um, that's what God wants. And and I'm going to be able to do a lot of good good things. You know, I'm not going to be the type of champion who, and, and doing bad things, doing coke and hookers. and No. No, I'm going to be helping people. I'm going to be um, out there putting work in for people you know and bringing people up bringing people together and bringing people up because that's what god wants and and i'm gonna have luckily i have a platform and i have a talent um that i'm going to be able to display in front of the world and um you know to all my opponents my future opponents you know it's nothing but love like and, and i've said it for people who have fought me you know um and it's really we're all in it together. Like win, lose, draw, doesn't really matter. As long as I'm, um, you know, providing for my family and I have a strong faith with God, um, I'm, I'm calm. I'm relaxed. You know? yeah, I'm, I'm not worried. worried. I'm <laughs> praising God for the way He's using you, brother. Thank you, man. And I appreciate you being here with oh, us. Oh man, I, really I, I, now, you. now I'm, you're gonna get me in. The, I'll be sitting out there cheering for you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm, be, I'm telling you what, I, that's that's my kind of that's my kind of warrior, man. The best warriors are these guys. If you bring the full gospel of Jesus Christ, we want to thank you and just say Godspeed. Mm -hmm.